differences between workout number one and workout 1000. Here we go. Unexpected question. <laughs> <laughs> seven years. Seven. Seven years it took me to get here. Oh, it seven. Seven years. as a person, right? 100, 200, yes, you lose a few pounds, yes, you make a few friends, but when you get to a thousand, you become a different human being. And I'll tell you this, before, before I share it, I want you to know that um, I used to be a, a coaster back in the day when I first started. A what? A coaster. Just coaster? Co coasted through life. Yeah. Get up, go to work, do random things, go to garage sales, buy stupid stuff, go to a lot court for a hot dog. All of the basic things that we always do. And uh, now I, I live my life with intention. So every every move that I make, I strategize. I make sure that it's <clears throat> always goal oriented and I'm always striving for something. So I know that I always ask this question, so I'm gonna give you seven things. That, uh, Ooh, like this. <laughs> you know where can get this. And it has nothing to do with losing weight, all right? So I used to be a lone wolf back in the day when I first started. So Rick at one was a lone wolf. I never wanted anybody with me. I thought I knew everything and I would always do it, do it myself the best. Now, 100% I'm a team player. I love my team around me. I love everybody here. I love the fact that I can just put a request in the chat and somebody covers it with a positive attitude. Totally. So that's one. Um, number two, I always want to bring value to any conversation or any interaction. So. When you leave a conversation with me, I want you to know, I want you to feel a feeling. I want you to feel like you were empowered or inspired or maybe I made you laugh. I want to bring more value than I take. Uh, back to the scale, the number of the scale is completely irrelevant. Uh, I no longer look at it, nor do I care about it. In fact, the showing suggests that if you're the type of person that looks at it every day, stop doing it. It's good for measurement, but you don't need to do it all the time. And now I look at it as how do I look in the mirror? How do I feel? How do my clothes fit? And then how do I have, how, what's my general attitude? And if I feel good, I look good, and I'm uh, super confident. That's what matters to me. Nice. Fourth one is being selfish. This is a word that everybody associates with negativity, and I'd like everybody to turn it around. I feel like we should all be as selfish as we have to be in order to be whole, so that we can be the best husband, coach, or friend to everybody else. Yeah, I like that one. So take, it, take your 30 minutes and own it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Uh, I take my I take opportunities to put myself out there for criticism through social media or right now talking in front of people on a microphone. One thing I've learned that if you surround yourself with yes people, you're never gonna grow. They're just gonna tell you what you wanna hear. But if you put yourself out there, and unfortunately, it always comes with negativity. You're gonna have people that are gonna troll you, tell you something you don't wanna hear, but if you genuinely listen, they're gonna tell you what you need to hear, even if it comes in a negative way. So you gotta develop thicker skin. Uh, speaking, uh, when I first started, I was super shy. I would never put a microphone. I certainly didn't wanna ever uh, put myself out there and talk. Now, I don't mind it. It's I don't mind it. Yeah, and I feel like if you want to excel in life, you really got to be able to communicate well. That's something that I would encourage everybody to practice. And uh, I'm just going to read this last part word for word. So because I prioritize my health, my financial wealth has increased, my important relationships have blossomed, my overall energy is high, and I move through life at a higher level. Yes. And that's it. Yeah! Woo! Before I'm done, i got to show up to two people. Everybody here is important to me, but two in particular, RJ, my ride or die, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today. That's right. And, and I certainly Truth. wouldn't be the man that I am right now. You are the most influential person that I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And of course, my wife. I was like, oh, I'm I'm just <laughs> How cool is it that you and my wife uh, coached my 1,000 That's awesome. Yeah. And I just want 
just want you to know that because we practice all these things that uh, I think arguably you and I have one of the best relationships in the world, and I love you to death. And thank you for coaching my wedding. All right. Thank you. So long before we're done, I have a, a special guest. No. So I challenged one person in this room to come out of his shell and do a little speech. I said this about a month ago. I didn't give him any kind of uh, any kind of question to follow. But everybody, let's give it up for my man, Mr. Umish. Woo! 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 Rick is a good friend of mine, but I still refer to him as coach. A leader is positive and a motivator. And those two characteristics are what make him a great coach. He has kept me in line, along with many of you, on the right path to meet our individual goals. Rick, thank you for all you've done for me and everybody here. Congratulations on your wedding. One more special guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody? Oh. You were my first coach. But you were my first coach. I loved it. You pushed me. I hated everything about it. I told you off. <laughs> but I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for you. Oh, I love that. So, thank you. Thanks, Johnson. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, Rick has caused me a lot of controversy. <laughs> There's been a lot of times when it's been like this, but in the end, he's the number one guy I call first. He is my rider guy. He's one of those guys that if you ever need to move, don't call me, call Rick. He'll be there for you. But uh, no, he's come a long way. He's a guy that I like to have in my corner because he does leave you feeling very emotional. Whatever emotion that you need to unleash within, whether it be anger, whether it be sadness, whether it be happiness, He'll always find it out of you. He always finds the best version of you. He literally brings us all 1% better each and every day that he's around us. Rick, proud to have you on the wall. Yeah. 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 Yeah.